Hey guys, I know there's a lot of filmmakers out there, a lot of you shoot with DSLRs, cameras, and make videos, and sometimes you want to post it on Instagram story. And but the only problem is this is the way you shoot and this is the way they post. And you want to post it like this. Hey guys, my favorite social media platform is Instagram. I used to really like it a lot, but then once Facebook took over and implemented their algorithm. I can't see people's posts anymore. They're two, two, three days late. I'm missing a lot of my friends' posts. And I think the whole point of them introducing story is so you could get the most up-to-date uh, posts. So that's what a lot of people are doing. They're using stories to post a picture of their posts and having you move your traffic over to their posts. So if you're shooting videos, the problem is you shoot videos this way and not this way. So when you post videos onto Instagram, things get cropped off. You know, you're losing your left and your right video. So I have a trick for you on Adobe to post your videos this way onto your story. So you get the same ratio as what you're shooting onto your video. So let's head over to the uh, computer. All right, to get started here, first we need to import a video. This is a video that I render. It's about three minutes long. So what I need to do is throw it onto our sequence. So this video is the normal landscape uh, type. So we're gonna go up to sequence, sequence setting. We're gonna flip this so it goes 1080 by 1920. Okay, just go ahead and accept it. So what this does is you see here, this is kind of like the ratio of your phone. And so what we need to do is at this point, we're gonna have to flip the video. So to do that, go to effects type in transform and it's under video effect distort transform so go ahead and just drag that onto your video go to the effects control tab scroll down to rotation and this is where we're going to flip the video 90 degrees so at this point you see how the video flips now it fills up the whole frame so all you have to do is scrub out your 10 seconds of the video. So in this case, I'm just going to skip to something here. So 36 seconds. I'm going to put a mark in, and then I'm going to go to 40, 46 seconds and put a mark out. And then just go to File, Export, Media. Now your ratio, you see your width is 1080 and your height is 1920. Go ahead and export that out. And when that get exported, I'm going to cancel because I already exported a video out. So go ahead and export out that video and then email it to yourself. It's only 10 seconds, so it's going to be 10 megabytes here. So that's small enough for unless a Gmail to send might not be possible in Yahoo I think there's a limitation on that one uh, but send that to yourself download it onto your phone we're going to switch over to to what it looks like on the phone and how to post it all right guys here it is on my phone if I tap on it my phone thinks is a vertical video that I shot this way so all you have to do is go back, download it to your phone. Save the video. So now you head back to your Instagram page. Swipe down or up. There's your video. Now you could post the whole video without losing any of the footage that you shot.
All right, if you found that helpful, please hit the like and subscribe button and screw Facebook.